Hello, we are here at Simon Fraser University at Stewart campus and we have a virtual reality showcase for our VR class taught by Bernard Pricket. Let's go ahead and see it. All right. So we have three projects on showcase. Uh, the first one is If I Were You, the second is Briefly, and the third one is My Skip. Let's go in. All right, let's go ahead and look at the first project. Hello, I'm Dana, I'm Jennifer, and welcome to our project, If I Were You. So our project is based on the perspective of putting a police officer in the perspective of an outgroup member. So the targeted audience is police officers in training, and therefore with our VR project, um, it will hopefully be able to reduce biases. Our project is also grounded in social identity and labeling theory. Um, yeah. Yeah, cool. So how we uh, achieve those goals uh, is through um, creating a 360 video to immerse um, somebody, you know, uh, to immerse a participant in a first person view. Um, so we shot the uh, 360 view uh, video and then edited it and then put in a headset. Mm -hmm. um, so the participant will put on the headset as well as put on a headphone, mm -hmm. um, and uh, we recruited a real um, a voice actor to do the voice mm -hmm. acting because our audio is what well, is going to be very powerful to um, put the participant into mm -hmm. a different um, person's mm -hmm. shoes. And why are you using virtual reality for this project and not just showing a video? Right. So um, we we choose this is we choose the virtual reality and specifically. Um, choosing the 360 video uh, approach is because one is immersive. Um, so uh, by viewing a YouTube video, it might feel like you are doing it from a bystander's view. However, when you're immersed mm -hmm. into your environment, um, we hope you can feel more like you're uh, experiencing yourself. So uh, basically experiencing what the other person might experience or, exactly. or see and hear what they hear and see. Yeah, feel more connected okay. to yeah. the story and feel more connected to the and where where do you see this going in the future? Like, what's the potential of such a project? Yeah, so this uh, project has significant potential to be incorporated into police training. So that is the targeted audience, because um, the literature suggests that using this uh, technology with police officers in training is more beneficial than implementing mm -hmm. it throughout the entire force. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks so much. All right, let's take a look at the next project. So, what do we have here? Hello, my name is Rain. My name is Dennis, and welcome to Briefly. So, our project, Briefly, or Evening Firefly, is a meditative VR experience where users can interact with uh, virtual fireflies as well as being narrated through a guided meditation, which the fireflies hopefully re reflect through their flickering pattern and encouraging users to slow down their breath and hop in. We're hoping this project helps increase participant awareness as well as connection to themselves and others through the narrative briefing as well as the fireflies that are involved in the experience. Hmm. And again, you're using virtual reality. Like, how's that helping, or how are you using the affordance of virtual reality for this? Well, virtual reality offers a very unique um, user experience where users can really be immersed in this uh, created reality or imaginary mm -hmm. space. And, and I think it really allows for people to really get into this new space where they can really let everything go mm -hmm. and they can be in this new environment um, with the desired, hopefully, uh, user experience that allows them to be really relaxed in this new imaginary uh, environment. So it kind of helps me to get almost step out of reality and step into something new. Yes, and, and also in our case, you know, users are, are surrounded with fireflies, like a galaxy-like environment. So there's a lot of things that we can add to the user experience, these like audio mm. and visuals that really enhance mm. the desired effects that we want to give. And you also mentioned th something about playful interaction. How are you using that to help people? to connect to themselves. So in our experience, the fireflies are reactive to the user's movements um, and, um, and and to their like flow pattern. So um, we hope that there that's going to be inducing some states of relax re relaxation that is intuitive through movement and presence. Mm -hmm. And where do you see the future of such a project? Like what's the potential there? We're really hoping 
doing with this project could be used uh, specifically for people who are very stressed to help them kind of feel more grounded and connected to not mm. only themselves but others, as well as taking some time to do some meditation, mindful breathing to help sort of relax, particularly after maybe stressful days, stressful weeks, or even just in general if anyone wants to use it. And so I could see it become very helpful, almost kind of a day-to-day -day use that people could kind of use to calm down or relax or even just enjoy. Um, mm. As we previously mentioned, playing with the Firefox is just very fun and inviting. So we're hoping people want to use it for that as well. Mm. Um, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. All right, let's take a look at the final project. Hi, my name is Hyan and welcome to Mindscape VR. So are you concerned about your brain health, particularly when it comes to old age? It's good if you are, but unfortunately, a lot of people are not that concerned about it. And even if they are concerned about it, they don't take the steps to actually make those changes now to promote healthy living all the way into old age, which is unfortunate because a lot of the things that we can do to prevent cognitive decline or things like Alzheimer's start now when you're young and healthy. Things like going to exercise or spending time socializing are all helpful. But again, a lot of people don't necessarily take that action right now. So we designed Mindscape VR, which is aimed to give you an emotional experience that kind of transforms your outlook and makes you motivated to make these changes right now. So it puts you inside a forest, which acts as a metaphor for your brain mm. and shows you firsthand what your lifestyle choices or poor lifestyle choices can lead to represented by the decaying of the forest. And ideally, users will feel an emotional response and feel motivated to make changes and live a healthier lifestyle. Mm. So how are you using virtual reality as a tool or approach and incorporating frameworks to uh, support this? So I'm sure we're, we're all familiar with what happens as you age. We've read uh, articles or we've even experienced people around us aging. But that's still not enough necessarily to motivate us to make changes now to prevent that decline. But through VR, by putting yourself in an immersive first-hand experience where you can see the consequences of you know a lifetime of poor lifestyle choices and you can see it in a short five to ten minute experience, you get that strong emotional desire to make change, mm -hmm. which is kind of informed by the transformative design framework, which says that you need to if you want to cause change in, in uh, in a person, you first need to elicit a strong emotional response. And so we designed this experience with the goal of causing that emotional response through things mm. like narration, through an immersive environment, um, just giving that user that, oh my God, I need to make change feeling mm. um, to promote them and to motivate them to actually make change now. So more personal, more direct, more That's first person, immersive experience. And where do you see the potential of this? Like where could such a project lead to in the future? Yeah, it could be useful as an educational tool uh, to help younger adults or even you know people at the teenage level to see that their actions right now affect what happens mm -hmm. as they grow older. Because again, a lot of people don't think about it. And the earlier that you can get this message across to people, the better and greater impact they're likely mm -hmm. to have in preventing that. So it looks like it's more than just an educational tool then, is it? Yes, Can you absolutely. explain so, how? Yeah, so it's not just about informing users. Uh, we could just give them statistics or we could you know, mm. show them a video uh, showing what happens as you get older. But by actually immersing themselves in the VR experience, it's more than just information. It's emotion and kind of a more uh, emotional just response uh, that's more motivating than traditional learning guidance. Great, right. thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks so much.